Hi, are you Sophia Hernandez? We spoke on the phone. I'm Dr. Davis. So nice to meet you in person. Yes, nice to meet you. I see you're 25 years old, and this is your first visit to the gynecologist, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, now I need to ask you some personal questions in order to get a sense of your medical history. It may be a bit awkward, but they're important for me to know. Okay, have you ever had a pelvic exam or a pap smear? Nope, never. Have you ever had sex? Yes. Do you have sex with men, women, or both? Men only, and I usually use condoms. Do you currently have a sexual partner? Well, no. I broke up with my boyfriend a month ago. And have you been having any abnormal discharge or bleeding problems or any other symptoms? No, not at all. I feel totally fine. Okay, thank you. We're going to do a pelvic exam today, which includes a pap smear. A pap smear is a screening test for cervical cancer. It looks for cancerous and precancerous cells. Whoa, cancer? I'm only 25. Why are you looking for cancer? Aren't I too young to get cancer? Pap smears can actually find changes before they become cancer. That's why it's important that we start doing these exams when you're young. Women who have precancerous changes usually have no symptoms at all. Okay, that makes sense. Will it hurt? Can you describe what will happen? First, I'll do a pelvic exam, where I will look at and feel the vagina, cervix, uterus, and ovaries with my fingers. Then, I will use a speculum to help me see your cervix and use a small spatula to collect cells from your cervix, which is the actual pap smear. The pap smear will then be sent off to the lab to be analyzed. The whole exam may be a little uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt, and it should only last a few minutes. Do you have any questions? I don't think so. I'm a little nervous, but let's do it. Pap smear right away to keep cancer at bay. PALS, Patient Activated Learning System.